The American Initiative is a nonprofit with a mission to provide rehabilitative support, supplies, and equipment for military forces and first responders. Joining us now to talk about the Hula for Heroes fundraising event is American Initiative co-founder and CEO Joey Edwards and the president of the Coronado Firefighters Association, Brandon Eide. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks so much for being here. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having us. This is wonderful, but let's first talk about the American Initiative, Joey, what it, what it is and what it does. Okay, so the American Initiative is a nonprofit that we started basically to uh, close the gap in, in getting first responders and special forces the equipment they need to uh, increase operational longevity and uh, quality of life. Um, these organizations, they already have a bunch of resources that are available to them. However, there's more that can be done. So with that being said, you know, we identified that gap and we went out to go talk to the first responders and ask them what they need, you know, what they need to go home with and actually ensure that, you know, they're healthy so they can go out into our communities and continue to work hard and, and get the job done. Yeah. Brandon, I'm sure you can speak to the fact that oftentimes the equipment is just not quite enough and it takes certain organizations, nonprofits to help meet that gap and get you, get the firefighters first responders the equipment they need yeah uh, the work that we do is hard it's uh, strenuous on the body um, we share um, the, the equipment that we carry is heavy um, a lot of our firefighters uh, succumb to back injuries knee injuries so it's very nice uh, to have organizations to come out and support um, our firefighters in the field and so what better way than, you know, having a little luau, right? <laughs> so that's what's going to take place tonight. It's a fundraising event, of course, with a cause, a lot of fun. It's a, a luau theme, so hence hula for heroes. Tell us a little bit about it, Joy. Yeah, so th this is the end of the year wrap up. Our team has worked incredibly hard this entire year, and, and they're all great. So with that being said, you know, we've been out in the community talking to people. Uh, Pacific Catch and the Firefighters Association, they're helping us out. And now uh, we're going to do the, the, the Hula for Heroes event. It's going to be at Liberty Station at the Brick. Uh, we're going to have hula dancers there. We have a DJ. Um, we're going to have our sponsors, food. And uh, it's just going to be a good time. And for the citizens, it's going to be a great opportunity for everybody to come out and actually meet the guys in the community that are, you know, helping keep everything together. So I encourage everybody to come out and uh, to have a good time and meet people. Now, is this the first one that's that's been put on, or have you done this event before? We This is the first event that's been put on, uh, specifically the Hula for Heroes, but we okay. did another event earlier this year, and it was a great turnout. Did you get a chance, Brandon, to, to meet with some people and find out a little bit more about the ways the community wants to support you and sort of build relationships that way? Yeah, absolutely. In Coronado, we uh, are very fortunate. We have uh, an immense amount of community support for our organization uh, that we're very appreciative of. Um, in uh, linking up with the American Initiative. Uh, they recognize the need in their own service members and they would look to us to see if we could collaborate, some share information um, and support each other. And it just seemed like a natural um, uh, link. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is wonderful. You, you're still you're welcome to everybody in the public to come. Oh yes, tonight. of course. Yeah, yeah. So Beautiful more, people more in San the Diego. merrier. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So how do they need to register ahead of time? Ticket prices? So they can either go to our website at uh, theamericaninitiative.com to get tickets. Uh, they can go to our Instagram. It's uh, American.initiative. Or they can buy tickets at the door. Again, it's at the Brick Liberty Station. And it's going to be from uh, 7 to midnight. So. Um, you know, comes, luau theme, obviously, you know, dress accordingly if you, if, for the weather. But, Bust uh, out the coconut bra right, somewhere. Right, right. So it's, it's, it's going to be a really good time. This is not the event that anyone wants to miss, trust me. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. All right. Thank you so much for what you're doing to help the community and our first responders. Thank you both. And uh, hopefully it's, you can get a lot of people out there tonight supporting the cause. And if you can't go tonight, go to AmericanInitiative.com. Uh, learn more about the organization and what it's doing. Thank you both. Appreciate, Thank you. appreciate it. Appreciate it.